Okay, so back onto the chopper Evo build. And uh, handlebars are just laying in there. I need to get some more handlebar bushings. These are roached, if you can see them in the video. But for today, we're actually going to swap the uh, 60cc engine out of my Honda into it. No, just kidding. SNS carburetor. We're going to take this off and put it over there on the workbench next to a nice cold PBR right there, PBR. Oh, yeah. And rebuild this piece of shit, maybe? I don't know. We'll at least take it apart. And this is how you know that the person who owned it before you was quality because when you take the air cleaner cover off, one bolt is missing. You have a regular Allen head bolt and then a button head Allen head bolt. What do you think about that, Lily? I'm just gonna lay down? Okay. I'm also getting really sidetracked here, but I just noticed this switch with the vacuum line running to it from the intake manifold. And uh, I guess, is this some sort of a VOS? Uh, I think that's what it's called, V-O-E-S. Like, uh, late iron heads had, maybe, maybe these Evos had it too. This is probably the point in time where I should say, Hey self, uh, buy a fucking factory service manual for this bike. Which I will do. Then I can answer my own questions. You should do that too. RTFM. It works. So that carburetor is bolted on with Allen bolts and I need a socket so I can get to it with an extension. And now I'm going to walk all the way down to the front yard to my service truck to get that past my iron head which is sitting in the driveway right now because I rode it to work today and it acted like it ran out of gas and then I came home and um, <laughs> now it won't start I bet the Honda will start though So here's something really cool. This proto set of Allen sockets I inherited from my Uncle Richie who is who kind of got me into Harleys. I grew up around him working with him in his shop. And uh, after he passed away my Aunt Mary who actually gave me my iron head gave me a bunch of his old tools and this was one of them. It's an Allen socket welded into a quarter inch drive socket and I've kind of always wondered what it was for perfect if the tank and everything was still on this you would have even less room to get that socket in there but that quarter inch drive with a good quarter inch long extension it's perfect this is beautiful and derailing again for another minute, talking about Rich. All the tools up here, this toolbox, pretty much all of the tools in it. That Harley Davidson sticker I've had for 12 years now. All stuff he gave me. All right, so everything is on the workbench and now we're gonna take apart this little doodle. Okay, so got our SNS Super B carburetor sitting here on the workbench and um, the rebuild kit. I'm gonna open this up. Um, I'll be honest, I, I kind of, I don't know, maybe I don't know what I'm doing here, but it looks like there's stuff like uh, a throttle shaft in here and a butterfly, throttle blade, whatever you want to call it. 
I'm not entirely sure why this is necessary. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if I'm even going to be able to get the old one out. Look at that. I don't know if that's going to come through well on the camera. Someone has epoxied the screws on this throttle shaft. So maybe I will try and get this out. That's really ugly. I don't know. I'll probably just put the time lapse on and see what happens. So the carburetor is on the workbench. I'm going to start taking it apart. The first thing is to pull the main jet out with a half inch wrench and then unscrew your idle mixture needle. Then I move to the float ball and you just unscrew the float pin from the side and the needle drops out. After that I opened my rebuild kit and sat there and organized it all. I don't know why. And then I moved on to the throttle plate and throttle shaft. I managed to get one screw out pretty easily, but the second one had so much epoxy on it. I sat there messing around with it with screwdrivers and knives and picks and everything, scraping all the epoxy off of it and out of it. Finally, I got the T handle in it and was able to get it to break loose and turn, but it wouldn't come up out of there all of the way, and I ended up just using a pair of needle nose pliers so I could twist and pull at the same time. And after that, I pulled the throttle shaft out. You just take the spring off of one side and remember to remove the actual throttle plate. I forgot to do that. And then you just can yank the throttle shaft right on through the carburetor. Okay, so everything is pretty much torn down on this. We're down to a bare carburetor body. Um, and I just want to talk about this just for a second. I guess this is why this was epoxied in there. The throttle shaft is fairly well stripped out. The holes for the screws to go through. And you can see that right there. The holes in the throttle plate itself are all wallowed out. So... Maybe that's a common thing on these SNS carbs, which is why the rebuild kit comes with a throttle shaft and a new plate and new screws. Um, other things I noticed, this is the idle mixture needle. It's kind of hard to see it. You can see it right there. It's bent. Probably what happened there is someone over tightened this in an attempt to seat it down into the carburetor body for the baseline adjustment and they fucked it up. Um, I heard this bike run before I bought it. They had it running out of, they just had like a, a gas can hanging above the carburetor, uh, like a Gatorade bottle or whatever and they had it running out of that so it ran okay it sounded like it didn't run the best and it was really rich it was blowing black smoke out of the tailpipes and fouling the plugs out um something in here has got to be goofed up the guy i got it from pretty much was like he doesn't know anything about motorcycles he has had a really nice shop he's a body guy fabricator um and his dad seemed like he was like an old school hot rodder and he's like well I, I know everything there is to know about a holly four barrel carburetor but i don't know anything about one of these Which, whatever so i don't really have a problem buying shit from people who are too stupid to figure it out uh yeah because i'm stupid but i'm smart enough to figure a fucking carburetor out it's a highly calibrated air and fuel leak so yeah, I'm probably gonna leave this here like this. Uh, I can hear Kenneth yelling for me from up at the house, and uh, it's probably probably time for me to go eat dinner. But at least I got a little bit done on this, and this is how this project is kind of going for me. This whole chopper build is just come out to the shop, get a little bit done whenever I can. Even in, I've only been out here for like 15 minutes, but 15 minutes of progress is better than nothing. And before I go inside, I'm gonna drop the carburetor body and the bowl down in the old dunk tank. I seem to have lost my uh, little basket they go in, but that stuff's still pretty good. I did a, um, I don't even know what I did. 
there's a two barrel i think i did a two barrel in that not long ago and it came out pretty good and then i just laid a towel over all of my new parts so that dust and debris and rat turds don't fall on them while i'm gone try and keep stuff pretty clean so the carburetors came out of the bath looking pretty good it took most of the paint off and uh hopefully got the the insides clean and kind of wiped off as much of the paint as I could with some rags but I need to hose these down with some brake clean to get them the rest of the way clean and blow them out with some air but just realize I'm out of brake clean so I need to go run to the store. So I rounded up the family and we all jumped in Tiffany's car and headed up the road to this place we have here called Ollie's. They're like a discount store. They buy out other stores that are closing and buy over stock and like the sign says, good stuff, cheap. I had Claw Machine out front. Um, Kenneth and I tried to play it. I actually really like Claw Machines. I'm normally pretty good at them, but that one sucked. Grabbed some carburetor cleaner and Kenneth did a goofy little dance in front of the cereal aisle, which looks fun to me. Then we walked next door to one of our local restaurants, grabbed some dinner, and headed home as the sun was going down. So that was it for the day. I was kind of done working. And the next morning I woke up to work on it some more. All right. Got my brake clean. I'm gonna go hose the carburetor out. Got my new shirt in the mail yesterday from uh, Motorcycle Shop Tees, MC Shop Tees, however you can say it. It's uh, put on by uh, Danger Dan, does the podcast. I've been listening to that. And back when uh, Iron and Frame used to do the Narcast, I used to listen to that too for the last couple of years. This shirt's from. Easy Co. They're out of Massachusetts. I can't remember what town they're in. Worcester, maybe? I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, I think this is kind of cool. You pay like a subscription fee, and every month they send you a shirt from a, an independent motorcycle shop somewhere around the country, which I think is pretty neat. Maybe one day I'll be uh, sending out shirts from from the bike shed, I don't know. Let's work on the carburetor. Okay, so while I was cleaning this up, I noticed this. This rod right here is cracked, or tube rather. I'm not entirely sure what that is. It looks like an emulsion tube to me. It's hollow, has holes drilled through it. Um, it appears to be pressed into the body of the carburetor and would go into the float bowl one of those two, like that. Um, I've done some Googling around on this quickly out here, and I can't seem to find this in a parts breakdown or even a call out of what it is. Like I said, it looks like an emulsion tube to me. I assume it's pressed into the body. This might be the deal breaker for this. I'm kind of wishing I had taken this apart before I ordered a carburetor rebuild kit, spent a hundred bucks on a rebuild kit. I guess I could, I probably could, box all my parts back up into this and try and get my money back. Um, yeah, it's time to do some research and this might end up in the trash and I might end up just putting a CV carb on this anyways. I've talked about doing that. So hopefully I can figure out what the hell this is and how to get it out of there. I think that's it for this. Let me explain why. I bought myself this Harley Davidson beer koozie as a joke because I think it's funny how uh, Harley people love licensed merchandise so much. So, ironically, I had to have it. Anywho, I have Googled and Googled and searched and Googled and searched and searched and Googled, and I can't actually find out what this is. All I can come up with is this is some sort of an emulsion tube. It sure looks like one. It's drilled through the sides with very small holes. It goes in the body of the carburetor opposite of where your enrichment valve screws in. And I think I mentioned this earlier in this video, but this carburetor on this bike was running pig rich, fouling plugs out rich. So it's possible that this emulsion tube, that's just what I'm going to call it, might not actually be what it is, has something to do with the enrichment circuit. And basically, it's like the bike was running with full enrichment on 
all the time. I don't know for a fact that that's what's happening here or was happening here. What I do know is this. A carburetor body for an SNS Super B is like 400 bucks at this point in time. A whole entire carburetor kit, the whole the whole thing, a whole carburetor, air cleaner, bowl, the whole shooting match is like seven or 800 bucks. And fuck that, I'm not spending that on a carburetor that honestly, probably isn't gonna run that good. The only reason I put this much time and effort and the $100 rebuild kit into this carb is because it was on the bike when I bought it. With that being said, I'm probably just gonna buy a CV carburetor and put on this thing. I know it'll run good, parts are easy to get for it, and um, yeah, I think that's probably my best option here is just cut my losses, Take this as a learning experience. I ordered the carburetor kit before I ever even opened the carb. Um, I was worried that I was gonna get this thing apart having never taken one of these apart before. And and I don't wanna say not know how to put it back together. But I didn't wanna take it all apart and have it in pieces on my workbench for a month. And then walk you out here one day with a you know, rebuild kit in hand and be like, oh shit, how did this go? Which, which way did this go? But honestly, like this thing is caveman simple. Um, I probably could have just taken it apart and thrown all the parts in a box and then like got drunk and put it back together a month later and been fine. There, there's not much to one of these. I have rambled on way too long once again. I'm, I'm really good at doing that. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm done. Fuck this, fuck this, uh, SNS carburetor. It can go sit in a pile of parts. In fact, um, it might even be able to go sit up here. This is the Island of Misfit Toys, or as I call it, the Offerings to Gods of Speed. We have fucked up piston and cylinder out of uh, my moped, a whole collection of destroyed Volkswagen uh, pistons. That one's cracked right there. Can you see it? Cracked right there on the skirt. Out of my turbo Volkswagen from when I owned that thing. Blown up pieces of turbochargers. Some more turbo parts. So. There you go. Okay. Bye.